Picking up where we left off, I wanted to discuss the logic that WooCommerce uses with its templates. Now we've basically been dealing with the product catalog template, um, and this is kind of the default template for all of your product listings. So let's have a look at some of the other templates. So we've got, um, that's our product catalog. That's the one we've been editing. We've also got another template called product search results, products by attribute, products by category and products by tag. We've also got the single product template, but I'm interested in looking at one of these templates. I'm going to choose the catalog, sorry, the category template, and I'm just going to demonstrate where that is in the front end. So if we go to our shop and we click into this, we'll click into the product, but with this template here is our catalog, our product catalog template. That's the default for a product listing. So if we click into a product, we can see that we've got a listing here. This product is listed in a category called accessories. So if we click on the accessories link, this now is showing our category template. Although it's falling back to our product catalog template because we've not made any changes to our product by category template. So if we go ahead and do that, I'm just going to show you another way of navigating through these templates. So you can you can access through the sidebar here, but what I want to show you is a different way to navigate. So you can click Command K on a Mac. I'm not sure what it is on a PC. There's an alternative, but you can either do a short a keyboard shortcut Command K, or you can click on this link itself, and that prompts uh, the command palette. Now what we can do here is we can start typing what we want to look for. So product product by products by category. So we can see that the icon is a template icon and I'm interested in the product by category. So I'm going to click that and that will instantly take us to our template. That's the same way that you would navigate through uh, the sidebar, except we've done it through the command palette. So we can see as well that we've got uh, a placeholder and this is the classic template placeholder. Now this will mean that by default, all of the listings will fall back to our product catalog template, but we want to break it out of that logic. So I'm going to transform this into blocks, uh, make some obvious changes, and then we'll have a look at the front end to see how that respects those changes. So I'm going to change my product template. Now, another tip here as well is you can, you can either use your list view, which I actually prefer, but to navigate through individual blocks, but you can also navigate through this breadcrumb. So if you click on a, a block, you can come back up into the parent block and it's the product template I'm interested in. And I'm going to make that into a grid. And then I want to change that grid to a two column grid. And I'm going to make some other obvious changes to, I'm going to take the add to cart button out. And I'm going to shift select these two elements, which is the product title and the price. And I'm going to use the toolbar to turn both of those or nest both of those in a row block and that will horizontally align everything. And we've got some alignment issues here. So I'm going to horizontally, I'm going to navigate to my row and I'm going to change the horizontal alignment or vertical alignment to top. And I want to change the horizontal space items between. I'm just going to make that font match the product title. So we've got some obvious changes there. I'm going to save those changes to the template. That's what that, that's just indicating I'm saving that to the products by category template. So go ahead and do that. Now I want to go back to my shop, click on the product, click to the accessories category. And we can see that now this respects our the changes that we've made to our products by category template. So that may well be your intention, uh, which is fine. But if you want to keep things more consistent and always fall back to the product uh, catalog, catalog template, you can do that by removing all of the changes on this template. Now it's easy enough to do that. Um, you simply go back to your full site editing. You can go back through your product templates. Now, What's important here is that you need to go right back to your templates. 
and then click into your products by category because there's some weird caching thing and this may well be because we're using bleeding edge but to clear this customization that we've made on here we on this product by category template you need to click on the three dots and then clear customization and then use the templates that were already provided so that will put the placeholder back in place and this will then fall back to the product catalog template so hopefully that explains a little bit of the logic behind the the templating system and brings this video to a conclusion um, having an understanding of, of those and the differences is quite important uh, especially if you make changes to things and you you kind of lose your way a little bit so hopefully that's uh that gives you a little bit of an insight into that and if you've liked this video at all please do give it a thumbs up it's always good feedback for me or if you have any comments feel free to leave them in the comments and i will see you in the next video